Now, obviously, the President's yeah. Show, which was a show I adored. Yes, uh, I did. It, I did too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sadly, not uh, coming back. Yeah. Do you miss it? Do you wanna? Uh, you, do you want it in the moment now? I could just throw you out a few uh, press conference questions and, and get a little Trump for you. We Would you mind do, that? We okay, improvise great. Improvise a little bit. Um, sure. How do you feel? Are you worried uh, today with the indictment of Michael Cohen? That this could lead back to you now. I mean, Michael, he specifically named you in court. No, Michael, first off, individual one isn't me, okay? That's an individual, and he's one guy. He's one guy, we don't know who he is, and Michael was talking to him. I don't know who he is. I'll never know him. I'll never know individual one. No matter how hard I stare into the mirror, I'll never know him. I'll never really know him. Melania says she knows him. What's the next question? <laughs> the next question is, uh, come on, let's yeah, go. Yeah, no, I mean, um, you know, now, obviously, I don't, I don't need to tell you this, but Democrats took back control to of the House, and now, you know, they have... Excuse me, excuse me. They took the House, we took the Senate. Yeah. And I told Chuck, and I told Nancy the other day, and they were at me from both sides. They were spit-roasting me with questions. And... <laughs> and... Well, I would just say, yeah. you know, if I could, Mr. President, you say you took the Senate. You had the Senate. I had the Senate, and I took it back. <laughs> you, you lost the House. You had the House. You lost the House. I never really lost the House because the House always wins. <laughs> and we know that from a casino. We know it from a casino with a great Joe Pesci, and he gets put in that ditch, and that's going to happen to Don Jr. if he messes up, I'll tell you that. Can I I'll ask tell you, you that. can I throw out some names of some potential 2020 opponents, maybe? You can give me anybody you want. They're all going to lose. Okay. And even if I lose, I promise you, I will not concede. Okay. Um, <laughs> what about Beto O'Rourke? A lot of people are talking about Beto O'Rourke. Beto, Beto. Guy's a Beto male. He's a total Beto male. And he's a lanky guy, and he's got a big old neck apple. You know that neck apple? Yeah, the Adams. Yeah. The neck apple. And Eve took a bite from the neck apple, and then the whole thing was screwed. So we can't have that guy. Uh, Elizabeth it's a Warren. Snake. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren? Fuck honest. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren took the bait. I don't know. Let me tell you, as, as I know a good guy named Anthony from Massachusetts who would say, Never let someone from Massachusetts run for president, <laughs> ever. Doesn't anyone remember Dukakis? <laughs> Dukakis? <laughs> exactly. Uh, what about Cory Booker? Book him, Dano. Let me tell you about Cory Booker. <laughs> Guy's bald, big uh -huh. bald guy, and he likes the ladies. We all know that. He likes the ladies. Booker, <laughs> he's got a big mouth, and he used to <laughs> jump over there. He used to drive a car. <laughs> T.J. Booker. Tough guy, T.J. Booker. And that guy totally resurrected his career from Star Trek. So unbelievable. Oh, my God. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Would you? <laughs> it's frightening. I, uh... Every now and then, yeah. someone would say to me, hey, well, you know, if, uh, if would you want to have uh, the president on this show? And uh, well, the thing I would say is it wouldn't matter. There's not, there's this idea that there's a good interview out there with him where he'll actually, uh, uh, you know, answer the questions that are asked. Would you ever, though, like to, as him, interview him? Do you think that you could maybe? <laughs> you know, I, I've never thought, I, I guess on my show, we had this same question. And mind you, he was never going to come sure, to our it's show. A, yeah, oh, right. uh, but, uh, but we did have Deepak Chopra. So the point being... <laughs> The point being, uh, I don't think that the, the value in interviewing him is only for your own benefit, right? Like, for your own humor benefit. You're not going to get information from him. You're not going to get anything new. Yeah. And to me, you just serve a platform for him to, um, uh, to peacock more. And, and I think that uh, the, the greatest sort of st or most bizarre thing is that we're still three years in trying to calculate what the pieces that were missing about him, especially in the media and in his coverage. And it's like, there is no there there. I mean, I might've said this before, but it's like, this is Chauncey Gardner, like yeah. times a, a thousand, which is from being there, which if, yeah, you know. <laughs> it's uh, um, put it uh, on with your steely dance. Yeah, we're on your steely dance. <laughs> <laughs> and then get a rotary telephone and call your grandmother. Um, that like, well, I, but I just don't think there's any value. And I think that the thing is, is you know, like a tumor, which our president is a tumor on democracy, we need to cut the oxygen off. Yeah. And the way you cut the oxygen off is stop focusing on him. Yeah. 
There's so many important things. This is the only thing. There's so many things that are important that both uh, sides need to deal with. And especially, I speak to the left, which is we need to think about the issues that aren't as sexy as sort of like the marquee things of taking down Trump. You know, tort reform, for instance, I know no one wants to talk about it, but people's rights in court are being taken away by corporations every day. And we have Amazon moving to New York very soon. And arbitration is the name of the, the game when it comes to get trying to sue a business for money. These are real things that affect people, right? How we employ people, keeping children in prison. Those things matter, and they're not interesting, and they don't stay on the bill every day. And prosecuting the president over a long-form period on cable news isn't going to do anything. But we can do things every day that matter by changing our behavior and how we interact with people in our lives. That's more important than interviewing the president. Well, I couldn't agree more. And thank you for being here, buddy. It is always just such a pleasure. I'm super real. Thank you so much. Anthony Tamanek, everybody.